Hello friends and welcome back to 7 Days to Die tutorial series with your host Ron Villa Bold. So we are starting our very first uh, kind of in the world tutorial on this one. And I did make one change from my tutorial video and that was I changed from the Navis game map to a random world generation. Because I figured it would probably be a little more realistic because random gen is pretty much the way most people are playing currently. Um, and also gives you a chance to see a few other objects that don't exist um, in the Navis game map, um, such as rivers and uh, the big cliff sides and those kind of things. So we are starting the world first time. We're going to drop right in. And I'm going to show you basically the first few minutes in the game what you need to do. And that is going to be concentrating on getting yourself some early weapons and uh, kind of sussing out where you are and where you need to go to be safe. So let's enter the world. All right. So first thing is, we can see that we are in a forest, which is a good, good start. Um, you're going to want to make sure to be in a forest area or a plains area for your highest chance of not being killed immediately. If you see yourselves in a wasteland zone, um, immediately go crouch. And it's probably always a good idea to go immediately crouch anyway. Um, there are dogs in the, in the wasteland areas, and they will kill you. Pretty much uh, nothing nothing you can do around it. So when you start the game, you are given a basic set of starter gear. You get a bottle of water, you get a can of chili, you get a bandage, and a torch. Now the torch will actually uh, count as a weapon. It's a very simple weapon and does not do a lot of damage, but it will set the zombies on fire. Actually, there's a about a 50% chance that it will set them on fire. However, it is fairly weak, and after just a few hits... Um, it will uh, break itself. So you want to kind of be careful of that, but if you are in a pinch and you need your, or an early weapon, that torch is your friend. So we've spawned into the world, and I do see we have some zombies over there. We're currently crouched, and at the center of the screen, you can see a little, little eyeball right there that tells us we are undetected. Um, it will move to sensed and hunted if the zombies get a, get a, get a hold of us. So... First thing you want to do in this game is you're going to want to pick up some grass. So grass is all this up, all waving around us. You want to have an empty item selected. Use one through eight on your keyboard to select uh, an empty hand slot. And then you're just going to want to left click and punch the hell out of the grass until you get some pieces. You're going to want a good like four or five pieces really to get things going. So we're just going to punch this grass. Very reminiscent of Minecraft in that way. but. How else would you gather grass? So <laughs> let's pick this up really quick. And you're going to want to spot the. See that? Uh, there was a. I heard, you heard him, so I'm going to be careful here. You see this bird's nest. You want to search every bird's nest when you start this game. Feathers, eggs. You do not want to eat eggs raw. You will want to cook them. So that'll be something we'll cover later on. But feathers are very important to make crossbows. Hey, first thing we're going to want to do is hit I and bring up our crafting menu. Click that. Crafting, we're in crafting. You'll take your grass, you'll put it in the very center spot. You'll get plant fibers. If you don't know how to do that, what you'll do is you go to the search area and you can type plant and you'll get like plant fiber. Uh, plant fibers here. And it'll tell you what, tell you where to put things. Um, like for example, I want to make uh, redwood planks. It would tell me I need these boards. And if you hover over these, it tells you it's a wood plank. So you could go up here and you can say, how do I make a wood plank? And it would tell you, let's actually find wood plank. Boy, here's zombies all over the place. And it tells you there's a few ways of making wood planks. So we're going to take these and we're going to craft them into plant fibers. And you can close your window and let it just kind of do that uh, on its own. So we'll let that happen. And I'm just kind of watch out for those zombies. All right. I'm also going to go ahead and grab this. One of the early things you want to find as well is metal. Oh, we got feathers. Feathers work, but we do want some metal um, fairly early in the game. Now, I'm taking things a little slower. Normally, I would be moving much quicker and getting myself going, but uh, right now, I'm going to pick up some cotton. We need 12 pieces of cotton at the minimum to create a bedroll. So we're going to pick up a lot of stones as well, so start picking these stones up immediately. Let's go back to our crafting menu. Our plant fibers should be done at this point. We're going to put them there for right now. We're going to start turning these stones into sharp stone. So again, small stone right in the center, and we'll craft that. It goes really fast, so we can grab that. So as you go, you want to pick up every stone you can. 
The next object we need to find in the game is a stick. Sticks are your friend. So we're going to go over here. We're going to pick up this rock and kind of just keep moving. Um, there are several types of plants in the world that you can get sticks from. You can also get them from, from planks, but cutting a tree down without a, a, a tool is really difficult. So this object right here is a bush that you can get a stick from, as is this one here. So there are a couple of other different kinds of plants in different biomes that will also be able to be used to grab plants from. But for right now, we've got uh, this one here. So we'll punch this. And then we get a stick. So that is our very first tool. So let's get pick up another rock here. Let's go into our menu. Let's go ahead and turn these two rocks into sharp stones as well. All right. So the very first thing we want to build in the game is an axe. So we'll go up, type axe. We want a stone axe. We can't make a fire axe, which requires ingots. And we can't make a pickaxe, which requires ingots as well. But we can make a stone axe. So let's go ahead and do that. And it tells us exactly what we need. So we need a plant fiber. So you can pick it up. If you right click, it'll put one down. Oh, I'm hunted. So I need to move out of the way here. Let me, uh, I'll run over here just to get out of the way. Uh, normally I would be attacking them by now, but in the interest of tutorialnesses, we won't do that. So they should forget about us fairly soon. Uh, let's run a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this cotton and this rock while we're moving away from these guys. Now, there will be zombies kind of everywhere, so you got to be uh, be ready to move at a moment's notice. So let's go ahead and crouch again. Maybe they'll forget about us. Uh, let's go ahead and make that uh, axe. So, we, again, put the you can put your pattern up. So that we need right-click, and you'll drop one item down. Right click, drop one item down, and let's craft that stone axe. That is your first weapon you will have. Uh, it does damage. It's uh, your tool for everything. So let's go ahead and select that. And this guy's coming after us. So let's go ahead and take him out. These fatties are the one of the toughest zombies in the game. Um, what you want to do with these guys, you'll want to come in. You want to aim for the head, just a little bit above the head. You'll left click, and then you want to move back. Immediately move back. And then these guys will drop after about five or six hits to the head. Maybe more. There we go. And these guys aren't quite as hard. So again, whack. Move forward and back, forward and back. And then you take them out. Now, these guys always have loot. So you want to go ahead and search them. See what they've got. So brass candlestick. Candle you can click and drag down. Or you can... Oh, nothing to loot from those, that guy. Or you can... Nothing from that guy either. <laughs> okay, so if there is a guy, he's in here, you can shift-click the item, and you can pick it up. All right, let's pick up the stone. Am I still being hunted? Eh, this guy doesn't know about me, but he's interested, so we're, let's just kind of walk a little bit away. Grab some more rocks. Okay, we are hunted now, so we need to, we need to get active. Let's go ahead and pick up this cotton, and... All right, I don't want to spend too long on this, so let's go ahead and kill this guy. I'll show you how to create your first big time weapon. So, oh, excellent, painkillers. So painkillers, um, if you take them, put them in your hotbar, and you selected them, you could then right click and take them. So uh, anything like a water or food, in your or any, any item you want to activate basically you right click with that item selected and that'll activate and use that item let's go, let's go back here we don't need to use it right now but basically if you hover over it it tells you um what it does uh, minus five hydration and gives you painkillers so basically it'll heal or restore 30 points of your um of your hit points which are over here your health this is your stamina this is your food and water. Oh, and we're hunted again. Like I said, this game is all about constant pressure. we got to look around and find out where this zombie is. Let's search this bird's nest while we're here. You can also take all with the R key. Ah, we got one of these little crawlers. you got to watch out for these guys. They will, they will break your legs. So you got to go in and out really quick. Let's get her. All right. I think the zombies in the neighborhood have all 
let's go ahead and hit R to take that. Uh, every once in a while the R key will bug out, so be aware that it does bug out once in a while. And you can tell when you're crouched, everything darkens, so when it kind of lightens up, you know there's a zombie has seen you. So let's get this guy. Again, you want to always move in and out. You want to pull back because they hit you, and they, when they hit you, they have a chance of stunning you. Glass panes really don't have a use in the game uh, right now, other than you can use them to melt them down and turn them into um, uh, glass jars. But for right now, we're not going to worry about that. All right. So the next object we're going to do in the game, let's go ahead and pick up some more rocks. Oh, another zombie. I definitely keep a common. Let's kill this one. We just need a few moments of peace here. Alright, so the very first thing you want to do once you've got your stone axe and you've got yourself a bit of breathing room is to knock down a tree. Ah! Alright, zombie. And actually, he came at a perfect time. So he brought us some wood planks and some fishing weights. Um, we won't cover those right now, but basically, if you look on, if you're, if you happen to be on one of these riverbanks, a lot of times you'll find this wood. It's aged wood. This is a very easy way of getting some planks without having to knock a tree down. So if you, if you're there, you can do this without even having to have a stone axe equipped. So that's kind of nice. So let's go back into hide mode. So if you've got these aged woods, you can drop them in your center, and you'll get wood planks out of it. So let's go ahead and let that happen. Tick tock, tick tock, and you get uh, yeah, eight wood planks for each one of them. So that's a, quite a few. Let's go ahead and let these craft these down as well. We want to get as many sharpened stones as we can. All right, it's a good start for us. Then we're gonna take these planks. I'm gonna right click. On the, on the stack, that'll give me half of them. And then I'll drop them all up there and we'll the, craft all these down into sticks. Sticks are really important for a variety of things. They're used for making ladders, they're used for making clubs and axes and uh, crossbows and air, uh, bolts for your crossbow. All those kind of things are all used from sticks. So they're a very useful object. You'll be making lots of sticks in your life. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a crossbow. So go up here, we'll type crossbow. You can select this recipe. It shows us exactly what we need to do. So we need two of our plant fibers. So again, right click, place those down. Take our sticks, right click, place those down. And we've got our crossbow. Let's go ahead and craft that up. And while that's crafting, let's kind of look around here. Oh, we've got our first supply drop coming in. Now those will drop goodies. And unfortunately, it is dropping a goodie in the wasteland area. So I go to my M for map key. It'll bring it up and it shows me that that is basically heading uh, into a, um, a wasteland zone. I do not want to go there. That is bad. Now there is a hub city. So if you zoom, roll, use your arrow key, uh, sorry, use your mouse wheel to zoom out and you can go to zero, zero on your map. You kind of move around till you get zero, zero, zero. So this kind of area right here, don't have, to be, don't have to be precise, but that is the hub city. So basically, we've got uh, we're, we've got a little bit of distance between us and that hub city. So we're safe for now, but however, there is a wasteland up here, and wasteland equals dogs equals death. So we want to avoid that for right now. So we've got our crossbow, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and put my water and my food away for right now. I'll put this over here. It's kind of my own habit for how I arrange things. And the next thing we want to do is make a bolt. Uh, so bolts are the things you fire from your crossbow. So crossbow bolt is feather, stick, and sharp stones. So we'll go ahead and start crafting those. And that goes pretty quick. And you'll be making a lot of crossbow bolts. It's one of the things you'll use a lot in the game. So we'll go ahead and craft that up completely just so we have it. I have a good set of them. So we got 15 of them. You don't have to have them in your inventory belt. They have them in your backpack. And we'll put these in here as well. Again, if you have an object here, you can shift click and it puts it into your uh, inventory at the closest available spot. 
So I'll just organize that a little bit. All right, so now we have our basic weapons and our basic equipment. You always want to, after you make your crossbow, you always want to hit R to reload it because it comes not loaded and then it would be very hard to shoot if it wasn't loaded and you'll get surprised by a zombie. So I think this will we'll end this tutorial here and uh, we'll pick it up again with the next tutorial, kind of show you some more basic building objects. So for now, this has been Wrong with the Bold. If you liked it, click that like button, comment and subscribe. Tell your friends, your family and your grandma that uh, you're learning things. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.